Tom Eaves, Breeders' Cup winning jockey. Tom, that sounds good, doesn't it? Have you had enough time for it to sink in, what you did four, four days ago now in America? Yeah, it's still, it, it's still sinking in, but yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, very surreal, but yeah, it's, it's sinking in now, yeah. Well, it was a massive achievement um, to, to win a Breeders' Cup. It's, it's, it's a big thing. Amy, um, how proud of Tom are you? And, and your dad as well. How proud are you? <laughs> no, it's fantastic for everyone. It's sort of what dreams are made of. And this is a reason, you know yourself, this is a reason why all of us get up to do the job. Um, I just wish a horse realised, you know, how much she's appreciated. Um, looking forward to her getting back tomorrow and um, giving her plenty of attention. So, Amy, just explain for us um, exactly what your role is in, in, in your dad's yard and, and what you do day to day. Uh, well, I was riding out through the summer. Um, I'm not riding out at the moment. Me and Tom have set a yard up now at home, so we're taking horses in on rest and holiday, so we're full at the moment. That's the reason I didn't go out to America myself. Um, so we're busy here, and then hopefully I'll be able to carry on riding out through the summer and go racing um, and saddle up and things like that. Still, I'll be able to continue doing that. Um, well, sounds like you're pretty busy with your own yard as well. Um, I mean, it is your, your, your yard is a family run. It's a real family run business. Your mother's involved and your brother as well. He, he, he's, he's, he's part of the team buying and selling and doing all that kind of thing. So it's, it's a real family effort. It must, have been, it must have been great on Saturday night when he crossed the winning line in front. Yeah, we've always been involved. I always say to my mum and dad, you'll never get rid of us because we're always in the yard most days. Um, but it, I think it means a bit more when we're all involved. Um, and obviously the staff, you know, all credit to the staff. It's been a tough year for them as well. And they've really stuck by the guidelines and, you know, they've had to stick around the whole time at the yard and all credit to them as well for all the effort they've put in. And how have you celebrated the victory? Well, I, I couldn't do anything. I literally just fed the horses, came and watched the race and uh, had a glass, of my, glass to myself and went to bed. But um, hopefully when we can, hopefully we'll be able to make a celebration out of it when it's safe to do so. And Tom, you stayed on an extra day, didn't you? Did you, did you go mental? Did you tear the place up? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't go, I didn't go mental. But yeah, I, I was, we, we celebrated, a bit, celebrated a bit afterwards, but... Um, Obviously, with the with the COVID thing, it's uh, it's it, it's fairly steady. But yeah, we uh, we had a we, we had a couple of drinks after, and uh, yeah, just try and let it all sink in. Well, talk us through the race, Tom. Talk us through exactly what happened from your perspective. Uh, well, well, we sort of um, obviously uh, w b before the race, we've um, we w we walked the track myself and Kevin and and, and Terry and that and uh, and I, I walked it uh, walked it myself and uh, and the previous day we managed to watch Nigel's horse run around there ran a bl ran a blinder and um, Rowan gave him a, a lovely ride and then um, we were sort of thinking then that sort of sort of some similar sort of route that that we'd want to do um, so be before the race obviously I know glass slippers very well but I hadn't ridden in America really before so I, I had a chat with Ryan and that before and um, he, he gave me a few pointers and I sort of asked him what would he do with a free rein and he basically said he'd, he'd go down the fence and ride for a look sort of thing and we uh, spoke to Kevin and that, that's that's the plan we went with so um, so that's uh, that was always sort of in, in my head going, going into the race um, and obviously going into the stalls my first thing was Everyone knows how quick the American horses jump out there was um, that we get a nice start and luckily she jumped lovely. Um, and then I was just looking for a slot down the fence and, and, and ride for luck and, and luckily all the, all the gaps come and, uh, and it worked out lovely. Well, it certainly did. I have to say, I was watching it from Chelmsford Wayne Room with uh, Midge Mullen and a few of the other lads, and we were <laughs> screaming the place down. Um, it was Brilliant. it was amazing. Was the were you ever worried because you were a little bit far back at one point? Was that just because they were going quick? Were you ever concerned about that? No. Well, like I say, I sort of had that plan, and the, I mean, she she's made it in a in in an abbey before. I mean, she she's she's got toe, and they, they were going quick. I was. Uh, I was quite happy that I was going to run a big race, sort of. Um, obviously, I didn't know we, we, we would we would win, but I, th I was I was happy with the pace we were going. I, I knew I'd come home, and uh, and the five and a half we were quietly confident with that 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 would that would help. So, um, yeah, um, I, I was I was happy where I was anyway. 
the race did seem to go perfect. I mean, sometimes as a jockey, Amy, you'll know this, you, you rode very successfully for a number of years. Sometimes you know early on in a race when everything's going to pan out. Was it, was it like that for you? Did you know it was all going to be seamless? For me? Yeah. You were right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, no, no. Obviously, when they, when 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 they do go a gallop like that, the the race normally fans out, and and that's when the that that's normally when the gaps do open, you know, um, when it's a proper run race. But um, but you've still got to get them, and and in a race like that, you don't want to get stopped. You got to keep the momentum going, and then, like I said, look, luckily it, op- it it opened up lovely for us, and and, and we had a dream run around. That was brilliant to watch. Amy, where were you watching it from? I was just at home. I'd literally finished feeding the horses, so I nipped in and just watched it um, at home on my own. But like I said, hopefully when we can, we'll be able to go out and celebrate it properly. So you were just watching it from home. Were you screaming at the telly? I know my, Claire, my wife, she 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 goes from calling me <laughs> swear names and everything, and then if it looks like <laughs> I'm going to win, she's happy at the end. Were you always confident? <laughs> Um, to be, once you ping the gates, I was that's the first thing out of the way because I know, like Tom said, the American horses have such a quick gate speed. I think that was the main thing because she can sometimes bounce in the stalls a little bit and sometimes miss it slightly. But once she jumped out, and it was a bit the same in, in Ireland, once he started niggling, I thought they've probably gone too quick. It was a bit of the same scenario, really. And once the gaps opened, I thought she was outstanding, really, the way she picked up. We all know you're the boss in a relationship, Amy. Um, what about the prize money? Have you thought about that yet? No, we haven't got that far yet. <laughs> come, on, come, I bet you, Tom, I bet you calculated it crossing the line, didn't you? <laughs> um, I, I hadn't no, <laughs> to be honest, no. But uh, sort of going into the race, I just looked at it as a as a normal race, and that's all I wanted to keep in keep it like in my head, basically. But yeah, when I when I come back in, I walk back in, and it it's all sort of hit home. Then you think, my 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 God, what a you know what I mean? What what a, what a day! Well, it's a it's a million dollar championship race. It's a Breeders' Cup race. It's something. I mean, to have that on your CV is something else. And I think you'll be happy when that check lands through the door. And um, Amy might even let you have a, a few quid. <laughs> <laughs> How many? I know you like to invest your money wisely. You've bought a few properties over the years. How many houses in Wigan can you buy for, for the prize money, do you think? <laughs> I'll have to have a look, but yeah, yeah, we'd, uh, we'd do all right anyway. <laughs> good man, good man. And what next for Glass Slippers? Any, uh, have, you, have you spoke to Kevin have you, and the owner? Have you decided anything? Well, well they've obviously then discussed that she, she is going to, run next year which is which is great and um yeah she'll she'll she'll, she'll head down a similar path i would think uh, where exactly where she's where she's going i don't know but she'll she'll head down a similar path and uh, it's just uh she's she's amazing to and I'm very lucky to be involved with her and um and and it's amazing that she's going to run for another year so she definitely stays in training next year yeah, that's the plan. She's going to stay in training next year. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Did you did it ever cross your mind you might lose the ride in, in the Breeders' Cup? Because it has happened, doesn't it, over the years? Sometimes owners go for an American jockey or Frankie because he always rides winners there. Did it ever cross your mind? Well, no. I've been very lucky. Been very loyal, and uh, and you know, um, you know, we've gone we've gone a long way together. And um, now we're now I'm very, very lucky to have. Uh, Owners like Terry and Terry and Margaret and uh, and 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 obviously Kevin the trainer and that have been been very loyal and like I said um, um it's a it's a great team effort and um, everyone involved at home and and everything keeping her right and getting her there and it's a massive team effort and uh, I I was the lucky one that got to steer her around so um, thanks to everyone. Well, you're very modest, Tom. It was it was a great ride. It really was because. Uh... You were uh, cool as a cucumber. You were like Mick Canan going around uh, Keeneland last week. And Amy, you must have been really proud of him. So what's uh, in store for you now? You've got 14 days quarantine, have you? Uh, seven days. We managed to get, we get down to seven days. Did a, did a COVID test uh, yesterday when I got back. And then, uh, and then I have to do one next Monday. And then, and then we're clear to go then. So there'll probably be eight, eight days before <laughs> 
Yeah, I can't wait. Missing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, Amy, I'm sure you've got a few jobs from to do around the house, have you? Oh, there's plenty to do here since we started. We started building the yard last year, a year ago now, and it's been a long process. So there's Good. there's always jobs. There's, it's never done, you know. Plenty of creosote soaking to be done. So hopefully if it doesn't rain, she, if you're getting his paintbrush out. Yeah, she bought me a pa- pack of new paintbrushes. So, you know, keep, keep me busy. Is that is that your <laughs> present, is it? That's me present, yeah. <laughs> well, every, everyone knows in racing, Tom's got the biggest helmet. What size is your helmet? I'm a 54. What size is your helmet? I don't know, but one of the horses was struggling with a feed trough last week, so I just give it money in my helmet. So, <laughs> so Amy, Amy, are you going to keep his feet on the ground, make sure he doesn't get an even bigger head? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that will not happen. <laughs> no, I know it wouldn't. You're one of the most grounded... Um, <laughs> lads in racing but you have got a massive head you've got the biggest helmet it's <laughs> well, the same size as Jimmy Quinn so I have that is it? <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's crazy isn't it it's, I mean a head's a funny thing isn't it but the shape and the... but um, so listen what about you two you've got uh, a wedding to look forward to soon have we or what? what's the story long engagements there's only 14 can go if we have it at the minute so <laughs> <laughs> well that might suit you you'll only have to pay for 14 lunches <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we, we we've had a lot of things that going on here and that, so we've not we've not really spoke to a, of a date, but um, it, it it it'll happen before too long anyway. Well, maybe your first child, you can't really call it glass slippers, but maybe if it's a boy, you can call him Keeneland. <laughs> Steady on. <laughs> <laughs> And just before you go, one last thing. I mean, that is the first time a European horse has won that race since its uh, inception, I think, 16 years ago. It's a really tough race to win the sprinters over there. Why do you think it is so so difficult? I mean, it's it, it's just it's just world class racing, isn't it? I mean, you have to have a, a, a special horse to be there, and uh, she she just proved how special she was the other day. I mean, it's it's one thing winning winning group races or anything anywhere in, in around the world but at the Breeders' Cup is um is is just massive and it's it wasn't that it's, it's just you know you watch it every year and you, you never sort of think it, it's a dream come true like to to for it to happen you know I mean it, it, it's just massive but um no she, she's ama- amazing horse and uh and and what a training performance to, to get her there in that form and uh, and to produce that uh, yeah, brilliant yeah, Kevin and all the team have done a great job and, and it's great to hear she's staying in training next year. So we'll look forward to a bit more and maybe next year you'll have a few more rides at the Breeders' Cup. Uh, so uh, uh, onwards and upwards. Yeah, and, and, and can I just thank, uh, I've had so many messages of, of everyone and uh, uh, just just thanks to everyone who's who's messaged me in that and it means a lot, you know. No, I'm sure, I'm sure they were. It was uh, great to see. And uh, I hope my wife hasn't just ruined the end of the interview because she took a chicken out of the oven. That was the noise you heard. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Good stuff. Well, listen, enjoy your quarantine for the last few days. Uh, Look forward to seeing you next week. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, you you are going mental. You've got your paintbrushes. Yeah, I've gone mental, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thanks for coming on and speaking to us. uh, And I'll see you... Next week somewhere, Suttle or Wolverhampton. Amy, um, see you soon. Don't forget my invite to the wedding because it'll be uh, expensive too now. <laughs> <laughs> You're on top table, mate. Oh, brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> take care. Take care, guys. Well done. Thank see you. you soon. See you later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.